All right, team. I'm Tim Jenkins, and welcome to All Things QB. Today, we are breaking down the Denver Broncos preseason week three game, and we're going to take a look at what Hackett is doing in Denver and how there's some really exciting stuff ahead. Guys, as always, please like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, or wait to the end. You know, I'm a big FTA guy, FTA guy for the algorithm, so comment below, but let's jump into the film. So, I'm loving where this Hackett and Denver Broncos offense is going. Okay, the first one we're going to talk through, we're going to talk through a lot of third down stuff today because you guys know I love third down. But the first concept we're talking through is a little XZ read, okay? If you've been a fan of this channel for a while, you know we love XZ read. XZ read, all it is is these guys are going to try to take the roof off the defense and get vertical. If they feel like they can't get on top of these coverage guys, boom, they're going to sit it down, okay? This is a great play design, great play call. It's after a huge run. So they just had a really big run on they just had a really big run for the Broncos, right? Like they gashed them with like, I don't know what it was, gut or zone or something. And then now they're coming back with the play action, okay? So I want you guys to check this out. It's not a completion, but it's really exciting nonetheless, okay? So you can see he feels like, boom, he can win. That's why he keeps it vertical. He feels like he can't win, which is why he sits it down. Ripon tries to drive this and he just is a little bit late to where this guy can jump in and make a play. And that's a really good job by the corner. But nonetheless, we love the play call XZ Reed. You can see him checking into it. Love this one from the Broncos. I just think that second hitch, you guys see that second hitch where it was like, we're at the top bar drop, hitch, hitch. I just think that second hitch is what makes us late, right? It's gotta be at the top, big gather ball. Late, good little breakup, okay? This is just fun, okay? This has nothing to do with Hackett. This has everything to do with watching Brett. And this is exciting stuff right here. Just a little scramble drill, getting out of the pocket. Not really a scramble because this is boot. So listen, I actually think this is a bust too because what it turns into is a vertical with a post and then an over route, okay, off of boot, which is like a concept you would never see. So I honestly think this might have been a bust from the receivers. But it really works out. Or if this wasn't a bust and this was just a design where they're like, hey, this is a one-off because we know we can get this safety to bite, I think it's really exciting stuff because watch this safety, right? He just jumps all over this post route from the slot, right? You see him, boom, jumps all over it. Brett loads and freaking rips a dime up the sideline on the go. That's a heck of a catch too. Heck of a catch. So it's just a little Brett ripping, ripping, little Brett ripping. I hope I'm pronouncing it right appreciation right here that's all this is just a dime up the sideline gotta love it gotta love it gotta love it gotta love it okay now we're getting into our third down segment okay third down i love what the broncos did third down and what gets me so excited is that it's preseason week three and we're talking good stuff on third down okay so what they've got they've got a little stick nod concept we got mandatory we would call this MOSR goes, mandatory outside release goes, okay? We have one here and we got one up here, okay? We also have our stick nod here, meaning he's going to run stick, then nod to the middle, and then we've got double oaky twists, okay? That's an out and then they're returning back in. So we've got double oaky twists. You probably read this thing like one to two to three is what I would guess, or you're reading it opposite and you're, or you're reading it top down, you're going one, two, and then back over to three, okay? You can see Brett checking into it. Okay, boom. You can see him peek this stick nod, right? He sees this safety kind of hanging on the hash, so he doesn't really like the stick nod. Works the Yoki twist, big completion, third down conversion. Okay. Gosh, I love that. I mean, it's just a great out of empty. We motion to it. Really good stuff. Really, really good stuff. I mean, I really think you can see his head work the whole progression here where it's peek at it, get over, get over ball. That's really good, man. That's really good. You got to love stick not on third down. Okay. Now we've got another third down concept, which I like. We've got third and six. Okay. And we've got ourselves a little Hank shallow. Let me show you real quick. Boom. So what we've got, what I like so much about this is from the condensed formation, we've got this Oki, right? So we're going to peek this for one. Then we've got the shallow cross running into our vision. That's going to be two. Deep Hank is going to be three, working all the way to the curl, which is four. Okay. I love this right here where we peek this. Look, you can tell he's peeking this. He doesn't like it. Corner's got outside leverage. Doesn't feel like he can fit it in. 
but he does feel like he can hit the shallow on man coverage. So check it out here. Boom, shallow on man coverage, throws it. Heck of a play from that guy flying down, making the tackle short of the sticks. But guess what? He led with his head, I think. So moving, moving the chains nonetheless. But no, I love the concept because I really like the idea of getting a shallow runner on the move, man to man. Hey, run away. KJ Hamler looks good, looks fast all the way back, if that's Hamler. I'm pretty sure that's Hamler, but love that. Love that, love that, love that, okay? And again, third down design, okay? Super common concept in the NFL right here on third and long. This is third and really long is we've got just, we've got a tight split, right? We've got our guys right here. We've got them stacked. We're going to have one guy on the Oklahoma route, which is just basically get to the sticks, roll out. We got another guy on the post, okay? A lot of teams run this, trying to work this one-on-one, -on -one, try to convert this thing here. Instead, we've got the Oklahoma pump on, okay? Now, Josh ends up working backside to this curl, okay? And he still completes it, and it's still a conversion on third and long. But I want you guys to take a look at this Oklahoma pump route. Look at this thing, man. This is a great play design because the corner knows, hey, Oklahoma's probably coming, so I'm going to stay outside leverage. Instead, he gets pumped, and it's up. It's as good as it gets. I would have loved to see him let that thing turn on that pump route. Like, even right now, you know you've got it, right? We've got this thing. We know we have it right now. Okay, instead he works backside to the... What was that? Was that a curler? Was that... No, that's a cop route. Okay, cop route's a corner stop. Boom, sells... No, he's selling Oklahoma pump, and then he's stopping. Well, I gotta love that, too, okay? Anyways, love it. Great pitch and catch. Good conversion, but I really love this design, man. That design is as good as it gets. Specifically, I love it to the concept side, that two receiver side. The backside stuff is good, but I'm a huge fan of what we had cooking. Because I think they had a touchdown. I really think they had a touchdown on offense there. Okay. Last clip I have for you guys. I know it's not super long today, but it's just preseason. We're trying to break down, see where this thing's going. I love this concept, right? So we've got ourselves... Really, I should, it's really buff, right? Which means our F is on the ball because it's a receiver. We've got our Y right here. We've got our Z, okay? We're going to fake gut here. It's fake gut, Z around, okay? And what you're going to see is they're going to bring this Y around, and he's supposed to account for this DN. Well, the DN ends up going way inside, and he actually does a great job of bypassing him, getting to the second level and blocking this tight end. Watch how this thing comes out, man. Little Z around. Gosh, that's just so good. Watch this. Watch this block again, okay? Watch this guy right here. Works all the way through, by, bypasses up that D end, and then blocks the safety. That's as good as it gets, man. You guys know I don't I don't really like the run game, right? I'm thinking, hey, just throw screen instead. But this is a heck of a design. Little fake gut Z around out of buff. Touchdown. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. I don't know how you don't love that. So, guys, all in all, man, I think Hackett is dialing it up. I, I if this is like the if this is the third down package the run package that we get in a preseason week three matchup where none of the starters play I don't even know what to expect when all of a sudden the actual game comes here so to me Hackett so far has been really really dynamic for the Broncos I'm excited to see what happens when Russell gets in there I'm you know let's also temper some expectations man seattle's loud it's going to be a tough environment communication might be tough there might be some bumps along the road but this is exciting i don't know if you're a broncos fan how you couldn't be excited so guys please i hope you enjoyed please like subscribe comment all that good stuff share it all over if you can it really helps me out and as always until next time peace